Hey, people of the web, um, welcome again. Um, it's been a while. Um, today, I will be showing you how to um, set up your SSH key with your MacBook Pro. Uh, you could use it on any other system, including Windows. The same technique applies. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to start by creating a new repo um, just to um, show that um, right now I can't actually do anything with my with true SSH um, so I create the repo yeah and the first thing Git, um, Bitbucket is telling me to do is to clone my repo so I'll just click copy and um, open my terminal I'm already um, I've already moved my my working directory to the desired location so I'll just paste in the command and yeah so like you can see it um, I don't have access to that repo because my SSH key isn't there and I can prove that by heading over to the settings um, on that SSH keys yeah so I actually have some keys there but like you can check the last time used um, one the default public key was used last in 2018 and um, the other one was used in 2019 so I'm just going to delete them and add my new SSH key um, it's really straightforward and easy so you just click add and then type in the name of the key I'm going to call it Mazi key then you need to paste in your key but where do you find this key from actually most of the times you already have it in um, so you need to like um, cut if you're not used to um, Linux command this is a command that can be used to print out like um, the values in a file out so um, by default um, the SSH keys are usually in this location SSH um, ID RSA public so what we are going to put there is our public key because um, the way SSH works, you usually have like your private key and you have a public key. And I can show you that. Let me just paste this here. Um, I can show you that real quick. So if I ls in that command, which is a Linux command um, or like a terminal command to show the entries in a particular folder. If I ls um, into that um, directory ssh so you see um i have this is the public private key this is the public key and you can actually generate a new one if you want to um, you type in ssh key gen so perhaps you don't have um your ssh key on your system right now this is the first time you are doing this so you type in ssh key gen dash s dash c sorry and rsa and hit enter so it will ask you where do you want to save it so like so if you press enter it will replace this pub private key there also create a public key but i'm not going to do that right now because i already have that and i don't want to override it because currently i'm using that key on like several other platforms so like changing it now would mean me going to all those other platforms and changing it and i'm not ready for that kind of work right now haha <laughs> so i'll just cancel it so back to what we're doing um we already have the label and the key here, so I'll just add the key. Cool. And you can see last year's never. So I'm just going to navigate back to where we were before, trying to clone my repo. So I just hit the back button like two times and click copy. And let's try it again. So we are still in the working directory um, where I want it to be. So I'll just hit that again. Now check it out. Actually, it's cloned the repo, but we don't have any folder there. Like it's an empty repo because we haven't added anything. But you right ls, you can see we have that test repository there. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please um, hit me in the comment section. And if um, you do like this video, do not forget to subscribe.